since our primordial beginnings, mankind has been perplexed continually by one ultimate question. A question that gnaws at our very being and echoes the deepest torment of our souls. A question that has sparked so much debate on this one small subject. No. Um, no. Yes, there you go. For centuries, or at least since 1954, there have been those consumed with the desire to know whether or not Balrogs possess wings. Balrogs are mythical monsters invented by British author J.R.R. Tolkien and inhabiting his imagined land of Middle-earth. In the Silmarillion, they are described by him thusly. Their hearts were of fire, but they were cloaked in darkness, and terror went before them. They had whips of flame. They have been portrayed a myriad of different ways, both in drawings and films. Most often, the famous battle between the last Balrog and the wizard Gandalf is depicted. This adaptation of Tolkien's classic tale is Peter Jackson's film trilogy, the last installment of which was released in 2003. As you can see, most artists prefer to describe Balrogs as having wings, but does this portrayal hold true to Tolkien's own description? We have asked a group of experts the simple but driving question, do Balrogs have wings? It is my official opinion that Balrogs do not have wings. For the simple reason that Balrogs are the only creatures that naturally, without any gain in power, can rival the great wizards of the West. I can't even believe I'm being asked this question. Of course they don't have wings. That's uh, Peter Jackson's invention. Everybody knows that. You read this book, which I have a couple of times, you know there are no Balrogs with wings. My opinion is no. I don't believe they do. Because I think that if it had wings, it would have flown out of the hole. Balrogs have wings. Or at least had wings since, um, as we know... Well, it would make them unfit. They're supposed to be the ultimate creatures of power. With useless appendages on them. Because it says clearly that Balrogs fall. Well, see, it's my personal opinion that if these said terrible beasties, the Balrogs, if they had any wings, they could have very easily just flown out to that bloody little hole that Gandalf knocked him into. I mean, what's up with that? He just falls in. Hey, well, the Balrogs was caught off guard, you know, which is why it fell. And then after it had fallen, it was falling down, and, and by the time it could get its wings out, it was the chasm was too narrow for it to fly properly, so its best chance was to grab Gandalf and drag him down with it. In the Lord of the Rings, we find a passage which says, quote, His enemy halted again, facing him, and the shadow about it reached out like two vast wings. Here is an obvious reference to wings, but what do our experts say? It's a simile, it's a metaphor, like two vast wings. It doesn't, it's not literal. It's not a literal translation. It's not literal. I'm not being defensive here, I'm just telling you it's not. Great shadows or something to that effect leaped out yada yada and they were like wings not that they were wings if it had wings why would it need to say that its shadows were like wings it could have just brought its bloody wings out <laughs> first one of course it, there was probably a shadow of its wings so obviously the shadow would probably have reached out like two vast wings because it was a shadow of wings